Right. Myofascial release help a patient struggling with Pilates exercises. And we can even talk about this one. Carol and I, this is this is sort of our dog and pony show of right. where we come across movement restrictions. And one of the things I always teach is that movement restrictions can be strategic or structural, right? And that a lot of them are strategic. And so we tend to work from a Pilates standpoint of focusing on the strategic. But when we come across the structural restriction, you know, it's coming to, you know, the Carol's and the Brent's with the myofascial release and the joint mobilizations and manipulations and tissue mobilization movement to be able to free up that restriction so that we can lay down the pattern. And Carol, you're, you know, you're the guru on the MFR and maybe you can share a little bit of, you know, how you see it from your eyes as the, the body worker practitioner and right. what we've done in the past. Well, restrictions are densification of the ground substance of the fascia, the polysaccharide ground substance, very much like jello. It goes through phase changes. Um, jello comes to us as a, so a solid a powder. We add hot water, it turns to a liquid. We put it in the refrigerator, it turns to a gel. This polysaccharide ground substance is a type two gel in the fascia. All of the cells and all of the fibers are embedded in this, in this gel. What we found, what Barnes found is pressure straight down, finding a restriction where that gel is condensed or, or hardened or pulling on, on the uh, skin and the, and the bones, pulling you out of alignment. And it can be from posture, it can be afforded an immune system response, it can be injury or, or um, it can be trauma. Um, the, the, the desiccation of that ground substance because it's, it's water-based or fluid-based, we press down to where the patient, the person is. We don't push deep, deep because there is no deep. It's all, it's all one web. We, we establish a connection with the person and then elongate or open up our hands and then wait. And we'll feel the web, the fascial web start to change. In, in 60 to 90 seconds, our hands are sinking in a little bit more and then you can feel the web start to um, start to move. It's very subtle. You're feeling it from the inside. Can't figure it out. That's what Barnes teaches so well. What we're finding out is Pollock, Gerald Pollock, in um, who wrote um, the fourth phase of water and, and illustrates H3O2. We usually think of water as liquid, solid, or gas, but this is heavy water, crystalline water in our bodies. That crystalline water responds to pressure and the infrared energy from our hands and the elongation, and it starts to melt that fascial restriction. And then it opens up when we take our hands off, fluid comes in from the capillaries and people feel less pain, the restrictions less, and then they feel spacious. And then we follow that up with movement because once you got the room in there, you wanna keep it. It won't, it won't stay, especially posturally. So that's when I, that's why it was so good to work with Pilates. Pilates and yoga to me are the very best ways to maintain that movement that we can get when we open up those fascial restrictions. 